In this lecture, we will go over problems 9, 10, and 12 from assignment number 8. Problem 9, we were to complete the, the phrase with either sensitivity, specificity, or predictive value. The table on the upper right of each slide um, shows the basic format for a 2x2 two two table showing disease and test and highlights in green true negatives and true positives and shows the uh, location of sensitivity, specificity, predictive value positive, and predictive value negative. The first phrase, 99 of 100 patients with a negative syphilis test are free of disease, or free of syphilis. The answer is C, predictive value. And let me just note that predictive value here can be either predictive value negative or positive. And in this particular um, example, we are dealing with predictive value negative in that we know that we have uh, people with negative tests. That's represented by the bottom row of this table. There are 100 people with a negative test. 99 of those do not have disease. They are therefore true negatives. The predictive value negative is 99%. The next phrase is of 100 healthy kids, three have a false positive strep test. So we know in this case there are 100 healthy kids. So that is people without strep disease. That's 100 down here in this particular cell. <clears throat> we know that three have a positive test. They are healthy, but with a positive test. So that is a false positive. Therefore, there are 97 or 100 minus three true negatives. And specificity, which is defined as the true negatives over true negatives plus false positives, is 97 percent. The third phrase, two-thirds of patients with a positive exercise stress test will have atherosclerosis on angiography. <clears throat> In this case we know that these are people with a positive test. That is this particular row here. We know that two-thirds of these people will have that that's essentially the same as the predictive value positive, which is 67%. We don't know the exact numbers of persons involved in this um, stress test or study, but we do, they actually give us in the problem itself the predictive value of a positive test. Question number 10. What is the likelihood that a person with a positive test for hypertension will actually have the disease when the prevalence is 20% among a population of 10,000 persons 15 to 45 years of age. The test for hypertension is 90% sensitive and 90% specific. Again, we use this information now to set up our 2 by 2 table and to calculate the predictive value positive. So we know that there are 10,000 people. That's the total population here in the two by two table, all people. We know that there is a 20% prevalence. So that means of the 10,000, 20% of them have disease. So 2,000 here. That leaves us with 8,000 persons without disease. We know that the sensitivity of the uh, test itself is 90%. So that means that the number of true positives among all those people with disease will be 1,800, or 90% times 2,000. That leaves 200 here as the number of false negatives. Then we know that the specificity is 90%. So that tells us that the number of true negatives divided by the total number of people with a, without disease is 90%. So 90% times 8,000 is 7,200. That leaves us with 800 people who are false positive, namely they had a positive test but did not have disease. Therefore, the predictive value positive of this test is the number of true positives, people who have a positive test and have disease, divided by the total number of persons who had a positive test, 1,800 over 2,600, which is 69%. Problem 12, which was optional, takes the previous problem and changes the prevalence to 1% in the same population. 
with the same test, same test characteristics of sensitivity and specificity, and asks us to set up the two by two table and calculate the predictive value positive. As with the last table, 10,000 total people being tested, 1% prevalence this time, however, so we have only 100 people who have disease. That leaves 9,900 people without disease. The test is 90% specific, sorry, 90% sensitive. <laughs> so that means that there are 90 people who have a true positive test and 10 uh, people who have a, uh, a false negative net test. We uh, know that the test is 90% specific. So there are 9,900 people, 90% uh, of those in fact have a negative test which is 8,910 and that leaves us with 990 people without disease who have a positive test or false positives. So to calculate the predictive value positive we take the number of persons who have disease with a positive test, the number of true positives, and divide it by the total number of persons with a positive test to give us 90 over 1080, which gives a predictive value positive of 8%. We can contrast this with the situation when there was 20% prevalence. So the predictive value positive has dramatically dropped from 69 to 8%, again showing us the important impact of low prevalence on the uh, predictive value positive of a test.